Johannesburg, this is the real economy report. The Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa, along with the Gibela Rail Transportation Consortium, began open line testing on the first test train imported from Brazil last month. Anine Killian tells us more. The Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa, or PRASA, along with the Gibela Rail Transportation Consortium, began open line testing on the first test train imported from Brazil last month. Testing took place between Volmerton and De Vilt in Pretoria and would be completed by the end of September in anticipation of commercial operation in October. PRASA spokesperson Victor Dlamini noted that the acquisition of the new Extrapolis mega commuter trains was part of PRASA's modernization program, which included the upgrading of key rail infrastructure over the next 20 years to enable the rollout of new rolling stock throughout key operational corridors. This is the very first train that we received from Brazil of the 20 that we are importing from Brazil. So it's going to be running on this line uh, from Volmatin uh, and uh, to Develt. And it's essentially, we just want to see that uh, between what we bought and how it performs uh, that you know they, they, there isn't a gap and to ensure that the open line testing allows us to test what we call speed testing. So we, we will run the train up to a speed of 132 kilometers an hour. He added that test train two was also currently being tested. It's already undergoing testing at our depot in Volmatin, but uh, it's obviously going what we call the, 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 the static and dynamic testing. We are going to also have it uh, undergo open line testing as well, as soon as it's reached that stage. And I think it's important uh, for South Africans to appreciate that because we've imported uh, these first 20 trains from uh, Brazil, we have to ensure that as we bring them into service in South Africa, and we expect that they will be brought into commercial service at the uh, beginning of October, that they are able to operate in our conditions in terms of uh, the weather, in terms of our tracks and all that. In 2014, Prasa and Gibela reached a financial close for the manufacture of 600 new trains at a cost of 59 billion rand. Gibela would manufacture 580 trains in South Africa and 20 trains in Brazil, with the contract subject to a 65% localization target. Basically, what Prasa has done, uh, we've invested um, with uh, Kibela, uh, we, we, we have an agreement where we spent uh, 59 billion uh, on, on, on the acquisition of these 600 trains. Because of the, of, of, of the 600 trains, 20 are coming from Brazil, the other 580 are going to be built at our facility, at a, a train manufacturing facility, which is currently being built on the East Rand in Danota. And uh, the whole thing is uh, a 59 billion rands. And, what, what, what we're essentially doing is, in terms of the modernization, it obviously includes the, the trains we are bringing into service, these new trains, but we are also upgrading uh, our stations, we are also upgrading signaling, but we are also just improving the tracks and pro providing increased comfort, reliability and efficiency so that our, um, our, our train service really reflects the experience that one will have of uh, modern metros. Other news making headlines this week. Metal sector forfeiting billions as imports capture 55% domestic market share. Steel committee to be set up to monitor AMSA's fair pricing pledge. And growing CSI projects in KwaZulu Natal. The share held by South African metals and engineering producers of the domestic market fell to just 45% last year as imports continue to rise, representing a material decline from a peak of over 65% in 2002. We are 50% driven, roughly, by the domestic market, mining, motor, and construction, and 50% by export. So if you have that framework in your mind, let me show you what has happened with the South African market. That top line above the red is the total domestic market for metals and engineering. In 2010 numbers, so you have to uh, multiply by, by 1.3, that gives you the, the actual number. The blue is the South African producer's share of that market. And that black line is on this axis, the percentage of the market that we are actually uh, con controlling. Now, to give you an idea in numbers, in, in last year, if we kept the 65% that we had here, we would have had production at 100 billion more 
on 400 billion, that's a huge amount, more than what we have now. Government would, within weeks, finalise a fair pricing agreement with steel producer ArcelorMittal South Africa and establish a steel committee to monitor implementation of the formula. We are setting up, and it will be set up literally in the next few weeks, a a uh, steel committee representative of industry and government departments to monitor both pricing of steel as well as investment, maintenance, uh, production uh, and other reciprocal conditionalities aimed mainly at our good friends from AMSA. And those reciprocal conditionalities will be monitored by that steel committee. More business and projects in KwaZulu Natal have subsequently led to increased involvement in CSI projects for International Engineering and Project Management Consultancy, Royal Husqvarning DHV. In KZN, we are involved in, in three sectors that is actually the business lines. Uh, the first one being water. Uh, typically, we are looking at Ashley, uh, the Ashley Reservoir and also the Richmond Palm Station. That particular project is actually addressing actually water provision uh, to the areas that actually have in inadequate supply. And also in water, we are involved in waste water treatment. That is actually the water you drink and go to retreat and you drink it again. So, so that is actually the technologies that we actually provide. And one of the technologies we generate a plant uh, that we have actually launched in South Africa. Uh, the other area that we are actually involved is in transport. Typically, when you look at uh, the P577, uh, which is actually a project of is at the Department of Transport. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.